Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as Goldie in this one. We have, uh, by, you know, sod law, as usual, going against the trapper that Goliath mains that everywhere hate, but, you know. Um, we're on Broken Hill Mine, which is the cave map. So, I believe we've only just done bog, haven't we? Have we only just done bog? Just, just do bog again, why not? I do like this skin, I do like the little green mossy sort of style to it. Um, Tobol Jack, Sonny Rogue Vel. Uh, it's a middle of the ground team. They do have the second highest damage assault in the game, the first being Parnell, based on experience. Um, Sonny is slightly better base Hank because she can deploy uh, shield drones in an area that will act as a Hank basically in that area until we destroy it. So the team's got defensive capabilities. The problem with this team is that Jack exists on it and Jack hard counters Goliath in a fight very uh, hardly, as you can imagine by the terminology. Um, we'll take the RNG corpse if it exists. Yes it does, excellent, we get the first bar. But we will go a different way this time, we will go a loopy loop around here. Just to smell the roses, you know, because we never... We, well, we always usually go north at the beginning. Most scuffed aimed uh, fire breath you'll ever see, probably. Just something I want to address at the start of this video, because it's becoming relevant to me now, and, you know, Based on previous commentary, if you're a returning viewer, you'll know my feelings on Dead by Daylight as the game. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to go into a big massive rant on how I think the game's shit, because, you know, that's just uh, common knowledge at this point. But, however, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to be reaching a point in time these days where the rest of the world is starting to realise that we could have had better in this genre. And the reason for that is the fact that a lot of the big YouTubers at the moment are, uh, surrounding Dead by Daylight are all making videos about how it's, you know, it's like those sort of videos that pop up where it's like, what's happening with this game? Why is it still, you know, boring and all this sort of thing? Why is it getting boring? Why is it not, you know, why is each new DLC not getting as many, you know, player spikes, you know, player spikes and stuff like that? And, you know, what the fuck am I doing? I'm stage one and eating wildlife still. That's because I'm just trying to get this bit out because I do think it is actually relevant. Because I'll get onto it in a minute. Um, long and short of it, my, my thoughts on this is that people are actually starting to realise that the game is absolute shit. Um, this comes from somebody as well, I will just say, uh, just to, you know, play devil's advocate, so to speak, and just remain somewhat neutral, you know. I enjoyed Dead by Daylight. I actually did enjoy playing Dead by Daylight. That was in 2016 to 2018, yeah? Not fucking 2024. So, you know, my point being, as it comes out as spaghetti this anyway, because I have to, I'm male and I can't multitask, so, you know, um, I have to concentrate on the game at the same time, because this is recorded live, I don't commentate all of my games, I actually commentate whilst I'm actually playing it, as you've seen it on the screen. Um, for me, people are starting to fucking wake up, and they're starting to realise that, hey, this game has been the same fucking thing since 2016. It's just because it gets a big character injected into it here and there. Smart boys. Um, but yeah, that's basically... I just wanted to mention it, because I have a feeling that, you know... Going forward, it's going to loom over Dead by Daylight as a whole. And you know, I'm just over here, you know, enjoying myself with uh, very nice graphics, very nice animations, very nice lore, what would have been lore. Um, and you know, if you're looking for something that's, you know, not Dead by Daylight in the ASM genre, come in, take your coat off, put your feet up. We did actually land the splash on that. I wanted to get some wildlife because I've got no armour. But to add a bit of context on why, you know, I always slight, um, slate Dead by Daylight and things like that, if you aren't aware, is that this game that you're seeing on the screen right now came out before Dead by Daylight. And it looks and plays a million fucking times better, as far as I'm concerned. Obviously that's opinion, but at the same time, 
As far as I'm concerned, there is mountains of fucking evidence on the screen as to why that claim is true. Um, but this game was cancelled because, you know, YouTube clout wanted to complain about, you know, DLC and all that shit. Something that's very obviously in this day and age aged like fucking milk. So, as far as I'm concerned, this game's death was literally the definition of murder. So, we do actually get that. I just didn't want to risk the dome. I want to get out of the way of his mortars. Whilst I've not got armor. We're doing a bit of hitting and running at the moment. But yeah, my main, you know, argument against DVD and all that is just that it's been the same shit since 2016. <laughs> it just has, you know. There's more game modes in this game, so I'll add that in there as well. There's evacuation, which is an actual multiplayer campaign, you know, where you can still play as both sides. And you do get lore fed to you as well. Beat these bars into there, this man is really committing. He's gonna go around there, isn't he? Just a bit shy, this one. Ah, that's a shield, that's fine. Uh, I need to move so I don't get mortared. Sonny almost saved in there with the... Uh... Good, there it is. I need to get some strikes on everybody else at the moment. There we go, we get the splash on that. We'll get it for Sonny. Probably going to end up spending a little bit of HP here for this. Fuck, missed that. Another principal argument on why I don't like DVD and why it got to the top and why I do believe that it shouldn't have got to the top is the stuff that you're actually seeing on the screen at the moment, the animations and actual quality in this game. Dead by Daylight's killers, for a large portion of them, are actually copy and pasted in terms of animation. So, you know, you just have to go into it from my perspective when I start going on these rants about, you know, all the different monsters we could have had in this game. Just because Michael Myers isn't in the game or Freddy Krueger and all that doesn't mean it's not, it shouldn't be successful, you know. Because I've seen that argument be uh, used against this game that it couldn't have licenses in it. And technically it actually could have licenses in it because there are giant monsters that you can actually put into this game. But I just, I'm a firm believer that not every game needs fucking licenses in it to um, you know be successful. What the fuck are you standing around for? There's always been a nonsensical argument for any game, really, for me. That you know a game needs licenses to survive. It's like no, it doesn't. It just needs to be a good game, which is what this is. We're in Shit Creek at the moment, I have to say. I need this little man over here. He didn't actually get Sonny up there, did he? I'm going to take mortars here. Game. Okay. That's we're getting out. Right, we're going to go to stage 3 here now. I'm dicking around too much. We will go and grab it here. There's Goliath being the fastest monster in the game as well, so we get out very quickly. Beautiful. Yeah, all the different monster designs and all the different, you know, stage three, you know, the progressive from stage one to stage three, that sort of thing that you would have seen on all the monsters. It was a monster that was going to be able to burrow. That was another monster that was reportedly coming to the game. But we never got because we decided to shut it down, complaining about, you know, the game turning skins, uh, guns for skins blue and all that sort of shit and you know, I mean, really, you're buying fucking chromas these days and it's apparently okay, but you know, got us a few subscribers, didn't it? Right, let's go and say hello in our final form. So at this portion of the game, this is when the monster player gets rewarded. This is another aspect I will go into, just very briefly, because I know it's tattling on quite a bit this now. Um, this game actually understands what power roll means. Dead by Daylight doesn't, because Dead by Daylight is effectively playing against 
four power rolls as one weaker roll. And that is highlighted by the fact that the meta in Dead by Daylight at the moment revolves around a singular playstyle for every single killer in that game, which is tunneling. Something that survivors complain about at nauseam. Anybody coming through there? That was a bit too early. But I mean, this type of shit. You're not, you're not going to do this in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> anyway, I've said it's... It's, you know, it is what it is, as far as I'm concerned. Got no um, armor at the moment. I just want to. Or don't want to be in the mortars anyway. It's probably going to be Jeej though. Yep, there it is. It is what it is anyway, I'm just trying to get as much videos out there as possible because while everybody else is running around in circles being chased by a badly animated man with a knife, I am literally, you know, playing as a giant monster that's very well animated in a wonderful world of no happy endings. Uh, that's what the lore was, everybody died, um, but in a actually creative way. Uh, and yeah, there it is. Just a little talk video, you know. Because I know there's people out there that do like these kind of videos. There's some people, some of my viewers say they do enjoy listening to me go on about this sort of thing. It's just, it is what it is as far as I'm concerned. It's just, like, I've, as I said near the beginning of the video, I've played Dead by Daylight and I did enjoy Dead by Daylight. But there are two things that pisses me off with the state of Dead by Daylight and the reason that I actually hate it. The first one is the balance of it. They have not created a 4v1 ASIM. They've created a 1v4 ASIM, where there are four, you know, eight, uh, power rolls, basically. That's what it's turned into, because you can ch you can do you can do the most goodest of shit on Killering Dead by Daylight. You can outplay you, you, your enemies to absolute shit, and you will get absolutely no benefit out of it or reward, because they'll either A, have a second chance to get out of the situation that they've put themselves into by mistake, or you know, you've actually pressured them to put themselves into. They'll have an escape out of that. Or, the fucking gens get done too quickly, so there's barely any fucking game time whatsoever as a killer. Um, and the second portion of why I hate the Dead by Daylight thing is just the community, quite honestly, at the same time. I've never known a community be more fucking toxic than the Dead by Daylight community. And... The problem with that is the fact that the fucking developers listen to the stupid fuckers in that community, and it's the reason why the game is just dog shit now, because they're basically listening to a bunch of crying children, and that's not the basic, you know, internet insult, it is literally crying children who just want easy wins and everything, and that's what they're basically turning the game into for survivors. There's no power role in Dead by Daylight. The closest thing is the survivor, because the survivor... I've seen a couple of content creators talk about this on the DVD side of things where at decent level to high level play in Dead by Daylight, as a killer, you actually have no fucking control over the game flow itself. It is entirely in the survivor's favour because you have to wait for your opponent to make mistakes in Dead by Daylight as the one. In this game, to make a comparison, you have a lot of tools, you've got four abilities on each monster, and you have your traversal abilities as well, so you have full range of the battlefield, and you will also have an ability to respond to the particular situation that's unfolding in front of you, which is why the combat feels very fluid and nice in this game, because the power roll actually has fucking power in this one. It's not follow this man who is going to run me around a loop uh, a certain amount of times until I start catching up via the bloodlust system that speeds me up slightly every time, uh, every I think it's 20 seconds or something, I don't know the fucking numbers but it's an interval based thing you'll get faster the more you chase the survivor but then once that's done, they drop the pallet, you kick the pallet, you lose that bloodlust speed burst and you're back to square one move on to the next loop, repeat the same fucking shit. It's monotonous gameplay. And it's even... Well, it's not even worse on Survivor side, but it's... A large portion of the Survivor gameplay involves sitting on a fucking generator holding M1. Which 
we're going to end it here because it's it's going down that route again. But it's 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 just it's painfully, and I'm, st oh, it's painfully fucking night and day how much better this game is than Dead by Daylight. It just is. Animation quality, atmosphere, lore, monsters, hunters. Every single hunter in this game has a distinct fucking personality. If the, if they was in a crowded room and a hunter in this game was to shout, you would immediately know who that hunter was. Put it that way, yeah? It's just... It is what it is, as, as I say, but, you know, 90% of the gaming world don't even know this game exists anymore anyway, so it is what it is. But I've also said the point that in this day and age as well, uh, for me personally, I kind of wouldn't want this game to... I mean, I'd want it to exist, and I really do want it to exist, because I want more monsters, and I want more hunters, as we all do, and I want more of the lore, and I want more of the atmosphere this game has to offer, I want everything more of it, but gaming people these days are fucking, I, I hate them, I really do, I, I just, I saw it happen with um, TCM to a lesser extent as well, where they just turned it into a fucking shit show. Because all they do, especially in an ASIM, is the four players, whoever it is, hunters, survivors, whatever they're called in the game, I'm not using a blanket term here, the four players will always ruin the fucking balance of an ASIM through bitching, crying, and just completely like going out of the way to get the power trip when they are locking themselves into the role that isn't the one that's supposed to be giving out the power trip. But in certain circumstances, the developers in them situations would have to bend to that because obviously they are the majority players. But that's how the games get ruined. That's how DVD was ruined for me because it just became this second chance bullshit. Like, it's the, I can chase people in Dead by Daylight, but after an extensive chase, I'm just, it starts taking over my mind. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I even bothering? If they can just get out of every single situation that I'm putting these people in. You know, there's no threat. In this game, there's threat. Because, as you can see, we, we do wipe teams nearly every video, but this is also bots as well, just to put that out there. It's not actual players. But if you go to my channel and go to the multiplayer playlist, that is me actually playing against players. And it was a fucking good time. Everybody was having a great time until the fucking publisher decided to just kill it because it, they just mishandled it entirely, again, based on, you know, what is it like... Well, it'd have been about seven years later when you know we could have had a revival chance, but clearly nothing's changed within that seven years because they still can't publish for shit. But you know, it is what it is. Everything that was done with the revival should have been done in that July, June, July, yeah, June, July, early August, when the players were at two and a half thousand when it's not even available on the fucking Steam store. And we sat there and waited until about fucking October before we actually did anything with it. We just started flicking switches and expected people to stick around. I've said my piece on that a million times. It's going on too long this video anyway, but everything should have been done late July, August that was done by the end of the revival attempt. The keys should have been sent out immediately and we should have had clear, concise communication from the publisher themselves. There is obviously the point that they probably didn't have a developer straight away because obviously TRS at that point was still working on uh, Back for Blood. Uh, this is actually made by the same people who made Back for Blood and I will say, uh, not to throw knives in all directions here, but Back for Blood was a massive fucking step down from this game. I don't know what the fuck happened at TRS between Evolve and Back for Blood, but my god. The quality dipped. I didn't necessarily find Back for Blood bad, though, to be honest, because I don't follow internet hate trends that, you know, tell me to hate games and as a, uh, you know, because I'm a sheep, I just follow the curve there, because that was basically what happened with Back for Blood. Big YouTuber said, no, this not nice, and I follow and cry. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, as far as I'm concerned. Spaghetti again, but it's probably in there anyway. You'll probably be able to <laughs> fish my point out of there um, But yeah, there it is. It's another rant video getting a lot of these recently <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's you know, it's getting to me um, Yeah, I will lovely and leave you and I will hopefully see you for the next one <laughs>
Bye.